What is going on everybody? My name is John Hammond and welcome back to another YouTube video. We're looking at the forensics category in the Boot to Root 2019 CTF. This challenge is called Lootback. It just gives us a PCAP to download. It's a Google Drive link, so it's kind of annoying. Can't W get it. Uh, I've already go gone ahead and downloaded this. It is in my current directory. It's a PCAP NG file, so it's that next generation thing. Uh, you can process it out to a PCAP if you'd like, just a regular old classic PCAP, or we can just kind of deal with it. Uh, in our cases right now, for the solution of this challenge, we don't need to do anything with it. Uh, we can go ahead and start to do some basic stuff with it, check to see before we fire up in Wireshark if there's anything really in it, like plain text, readable, uh, so just go ahead and run strings on it. And at the very, very bottom, there's an interesting thing, it's boot to root, I am the flag format. This looks like the flag, but it is not. We can go ahead and submit it and see that it is very obviously not the flag. Uh, it also doesn't seem to be the right flag format, because that B is capital in it. So far, we've seen everything lowercase b. So we could fire this up in Wireshark, but we still have some more low-hanging fruit we can check in a regular TCP file. Uh, what I'm going to do is actually make a directory files, just in case we have anything in there, and I will go ahead and copy that data into files. So I'm going to use TCP flow, which is super nice and super easy. If you don't have it installed, go ahead and install it. I believe it's in the repositories. If not, I'm sure you can track down the GitHub. And you just run TCP flow tack R to represent you're going to read from a file here. That will go ahead and not return any output, but take a look in your current directory. Now you've got some extra stuff. You've got some communication that's kind of labeled in the file name between one IP address and the next with a report.xml that will tell you everything that it had found. If you take a look at these all with file, you'll see that one of these is ASCII text, which is kind of interesting. We can take a look at that. Maybe that is the flag. Go ahead and cat that out. Hello, server. Okay. The other is a bitmap file, which we can go all the way. also go ahead and take a look at. I'll just use EOG or I of GNOME to view that. And that looks like the flag. It is sideways, so we can go ahead and rotate it. Control R, there it is. And that's also not the right flag format in that it's not using the two zeros in boot, but we have something new here, boot to root am underscore the underscore one. So if we want to try and submit that, we can do that. Am the underscore one. And that is the correct flag. So that's that. That's literally it. If you were to go ahead and take a look at this within Wireshark, you'll see that it is a lot of like X11 data. And I struggled with that for a long, long time. I tried to figure out, well, do I need to set up an X11 server? I know it's sending it back to itself. Is that a loopback thing, like taken literally? Uh, I actually found a tool, Chaos Reader or something that will let you like create the replay files, but I never got anywhere with it. And then I just went back to the like basics and you actually will see like TCP flow and that basic low hanging fruit stuff in CTF Katana. If you go to my GitHub repository, again, I'll tout that resource and we'll bring out the automated version of that soon. So uh, that's that. Hope you guys enjoyed this. Uh, love to see you in the next video. If you did like this video, please do like, comment, and subscribe. Join the Discord server. There is a link in the description. Love to see you on Patreon. Love to see you on PayPal. You know the whole nine yards. Thanks again.